Libra, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for March 2018. Libra, I hope you are taking advantage of your 36,000 subscriber gift, Astrology 102, $3 Thursday, all of the good stuff. It's in the description box down below. So come connect, hang out, let's learn together and all of that good jazz. All right, Libra, this month, man, we have got some retrograde energies happening. Um, we've got some sign changes. We've got three moons happening this month, two of which happen to be full and do look a little bit stressful for you this month. And a new moon that's actually going to light up some things in your health and routine sector. So let's just get right in here and talk about it. Right away, Libra, at the beginning of the month on the first, we're having a full moon happening in the sign of Virgo. This is shedding light on your 12th house. So one of the things I just keep thinking about for you is you've got to take care of yourself. There's got to be a spiritual awakening happening. You've got to get quiet, get right with whatever um, you need to get right with, right? But there is a time where you maybe need to pause and reflect on you. And in so doing, you may actually find yourself needing to be of service to other people because in being of service to other people, you get out of your own head and you kind of give the universe a chance to work some magic within you to start clearing out some of these cobwebs. Whatever it is, self-care, um, downtime, quiet is going to be a thing that maybe is brought very, very clearly to your attention. And it's because you've really got to have a spiritual experience or a spiritual awakening in order to propel yourself forward. You've got to know what's going on with your own care. And I will tell you too, if you struggle with addiction in any way, whatever that looks like, this will be a time at this full moon and really for the next four weeks, I want you to pay attention. Make sure you've got a program in your life. Make sure you've got something going on. Make sure you are grounded in something different because this can be a time where um, those addictions, whatever they look like, take a flare. So really please make sure you're doing what you need to do to be safe, sane, healthy, and on par, okay? Now, as we move to the 6th and the 7th, we see both Mercury and um, Venus taking a move here into Aries, which is just your opposite energy. So relationship things from business partnerships, friendships, romance, all of these things, the relationship of you with you, you with your creator, whatever that looks like, can start to be very busy. There's lots of communication happening now. And I'm telling you, if there are things you're trying to communicate about in a relationship, do them now. When we get to the 22nd of the month and Mercury takes this retrograde in Aries, your relations and the communication between them could get stuck. It could be very sticky. It could be very tricky. So try and do those things now, okay? You've also got Uranus up here bringing some different flavor. Your relationships in your life certainly look different. And your relationship with you and you should hopefully be different enough at this time that you're presenting yourself out into the rest of your relationships a little bit different as well. So make sure you're really paying attention to that self-care as well, though. That's going to be important, okay? When we get to the 8th, Jupiter is taking this retrograde here in the sign of Scorpio, which is going to be in your second house. So this is a place where if you've had income just kind of rolling in for you because Jupiter likes to bring this expansiveness, bring these opportunities, things could slow down in some way, shape, or form. And one of the things I think of with you, Libra, is that maybe there's another source connected to your income and it is starting to pull on it or starting to wane on it. You know, I'm thinking child support, alimony, um, debt, any of those things that may also be happening in the eighth house of somebody else taking advantage of your money. Or if you have money coming from another source, that could, this could also slow with the Jupiter being here in retrograde. Now on the 14th, I think that this is an important date. Jupiter is going to be in a semi-square to Saturn. This is important energy because Jupiter's here in the second, Saturn's over here in the fourth, and what is going to happen is these energies in this aspect say you have to restructure in order to take advantage of the opportunity. You've got to restructure over here in your fourth house with your home, family, real estate, property and you may be feeling exhausted at this point libra but you've got to pay attention to how this needs to be restructured you know you could have things going on in your family with saturn over here in the fourth or someone in your family your housing could be changing but you've got to restructure that in order to take advantage of the value and the financial benefits that come with jupiter so keep that in mind on this date what needs to be restructured okay 
Now Saturn, because it's in the first six months of its transit here to this fourth house place, this could be very, very frustrating. So please just make sure you're paying attention, okay? Now, as we get to the 17th, we have got the new moon happening in Pisces at 26 degrees of Pisces. This hits your sixth house. So health, work, co-workers, if you're a boss, maybe things with your employees, and daily routine. As well, we've got Mars coming into Capricorn now, so into this fourth house. So again, bringing action and energy to this fourth house space. One of the things I'm thinking at, as, I, as I look at these um, trends here as we're going along is that Mars in Capricorn, especially related to the family, this could bring tension up for you, maybe even anger. You don't understand why something's not working. You're getting frustrated. What I would tell you is try to remain a little bit calm. You can also use Mars and Capricorn to achieve. You can move something with the family forward, which may look like leaning into this new moon and getting a new routine. Maybe you need a fresh routine in your life. Maybe you need to not be at work so much, or you know, the sixth house is also about this mental health. What's happening in your head? right? What you think you create. What is happening here? This may need some adjustment. And of course, with this new moon in the sixth house here, if you've got any health related things, including addictions, please pay attention and go on ahead and treat those. Don't act like it's not happening because likely it is. This new moon is a chance to plant these seeds of intention, create something new, do something new, and have a fresh start. Mars and Capricorn is helping to push those foundational energies along to help you build a new structure as well. On the 20th, we've got the sun coming into Aries. We're going to also celebrate the astrological new year. We're starting over in spring. Your seventh house, your relationships are under evaluation, but they too are getting this breath of fresh air, a brand new start to relationships. And that may look very different than you thought it would look at this point, Libra. So be very open-minded to that, okay? Especially because we get to the 22nd, we've got Mercury turning retrograde in this partnership space. Um, and I'm telling you, in your relationships, you could be running into some communication walls for sure. Remember that you're not the only one experiencing a retrograde. Everybody is. So you could even be trying to communicate and the other person is just not hearing it or they're not having it. You know, uh, Mercury retrograde is infamous for bringing up issues and people, places and things from the past, but they are being brought back to heal. They are being brought back to be dealt with so that you can move forward free. So don't ignore anything from health to people, places places and things that come up, okay? Now, as we end this month on the 31st, we've actually got a full moon, our last moon of the month happening in your sign. And I feel like this is great because this full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. And this could be a time where you are focusing on how you wish to be out in the world. You wish to be known even within yourself um, differently. So I actually think this acts as a culmination and ending to some way you've been participating in life and you get to start showing up differently. It is This is an ending Libra, but it is a fresh start for you as well. So the full month for you, though loaded with pockets of tension, which I really believe are real for you this month, they are all opportunities for a fresh start. And I hope that you take crazy advantage of dealing and facing with whatever comes up for you so that you can have that new start, okay? I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you in April and of course in any of the socials in any way we connect, including on Facebook. So like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next month.